Hey guys, so welcome to this video. We have brought to you an update element pack 5.1.0. In this video, I'm gonna show you what are you going to get from this update. If you look your eyes on the change log, it will be clear all about the update. So guys, let's get started. I come to Elementor dashboard. And here is interactive card widget and image box widget. If I talk about interactive card widget, it is actually our new widget inclusions in our widget list. If you look, what is the difference between image box widget and interactive card widget? See, in our interactive card widget, you will find subtitle and read more button with hover animations that is totally missing in terms of image box widget now come to what you can make with interactive card widget look at the layout sections under image controls you can select your image with the interactive card I'm going to media library and choosing this image and inserting See the image is here now I'm clicking on the image box widget and choosing image and inserting both widget will allow you to set image positions see in terms of image box you'll be able to image position left top and right only but in terms of interactive card you'll be able to set the image positions top top left bottom and right also see the image has take his place in the bottom this time I'm going to disclose an effect wavify effect that you can add with your card and before adding the effect I'm deleting this column if you see there is show wavify effect switcher button just I am enabling the switcher button and see the effect of wavify and you can add this effect in every positions I'm selecting right positions And see the effect wavify effect to right side of the image after enabling the switcher button if you look you will find the options wavify and just you have to click on the icon button to manipulate or to manage the wavify effect guys you know in this update we have added for e skin to our for widget such as featured box price table portfolio carousel and portfolio gallery and one of them is featured boxed widget and this is our default skin but if I choose a split from here and this is split exactly added in this portions now I'm selecting is split is skin and see the changes now I will tell you what is skin added in price table we see it and uh, this is the price table default skins and that is a design particularly but but if you use this time erect is skins you will be able to price table horizontally just click on the erect skin you see the price table is appear horizontally and this was our updated skins to price table widget is that portfolio gallery widget and go to layout sections and from the sections select skins default to gens and you'll find the difference and this skin is newly added skin 
but it is it is quite good but in this part there is something missing don't worry go to additional sections and from these sections enable the show text switcher button and show category switcher button now i'm hovering and it is quite good then b4 there is one more thing if you want to uh, increase the content uh, content length you can do this easily and for that you have to go to style tab to content width like i'm increasing and you can do this as you like as your design demand and it will respond to your activity i see the content width has increased Here in portfolio carousel you can add same skins as like portfolio gallery. See I'm choosing gens. So guys look at the accordion widget. I've inserted the accordion widget earlier. Just come to additional sections. See there is a on off options hash location often options when i'm clicking on the hash location switcher button you will find another options another on off option is scroll spy previously that was built in with hash locations enabling the scroll spy the scroll spy on off options includes two scroll bar top offset and scroll time so that you can easily manage the scroll of hash location in this update element pack 5.1 under navigation section we have added dynamic bullet and show scroll bar on and options and see scroll bar and dynamic bullet with scroll widget in addition, we have added uh, cover flow effect. And for adding, I'm I have come to carousel settings to layout to cover flow. Now I'm going to change log and see dynamic bullet navigations and cover flow effect and scroll bar options added in carousel custom carousel fancy slider portfolio carousel slider testimonial carousel twitter carousel twitter slider and wc carousel widget you insert chart widget and from these versions you will be able to show prefix and suffix i'm clicking on show prefix button now i'm clicking on show suffix on an option if you want to add effect to hoverbox item image you can do that after this update just you have to on the image effect options after on the image effect options just you have to scroll on the items and see the effect every single image is being zoom in next a testimonial carousel slider and grid widget in this three widget from this update you'll be able to add meta multi-line option meta multi-line as you see here and there is meta meta multi-line on off options using these options you'll be able to control the meta multi-line like i'm um, as you see on the screen see the meta tag now in horizontally appeared but when i'm clicking on meta multi-line on off options it will take part in different line
come on guys look at the even great wizard not only even great wizard you'll be able to add anchor link to even list and even carousel using the anchor link on off options you can manipulate the anchor you can manipulate the link like i'm enabling the anchor link and click on the update button then hitting on the preview change button and see there is a even grid and i'm clicking on this item and it will take you another phase and this is the actual functions of anchor link regarding advanced image gallery we have brought another effect and the effect is the spotlight mode before enabling the mode hover on the image and see the effect but when I'm enabling the spotlight mode and hovering and see the exact spotlight effect In WC product widget, we have added three on off options like hide header, presentations, and ordering. Under query sections, you will find fascinations. From here, you can show fascinations. You see, the fascination is here. If you want, you can customly add fascination item in this field. If you want to set ordering, just you have to make sure you have unchecked the hide header option on up options. Now go to additional sections and see the ordering is here. In the post slider widget in Hazel Skin, you can edit the preview text and next text button. Before this update in WC product widget, add to car and quick view was visible in Mova mode. But from this update, you will be able to hide add to cart and quick view on mobile version. From now you can add CSS filter to advanced Google map widget in normal mode and hover mode. In this update, we have also added 
item auto match height in terms of WC product widget and WC carousel product widget. And see, the content e content height is not equal. If I hit on the item match height on up options, you will see the height is match automatically now you can use open street map without access token but if you want to show the open street map from map box you have to use the access token In addition previously there was a problem when we were zoom in or zoom out from now that issue also has been fixed at the end of the video I want to draw your attention once again you know all about our visit and in this update we have updated of our some widget and you can see the list here and to lot of widget we have fixed some issues and the list is here step by step just you have to check them out that is all about our update hopefully you have enjoyed this update if you face any issue you can contact us or comment in, in this video